the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can Next truly time. place your faith in another. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> Gotcha! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Hi, honey. This I'm is home. a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Let's press C. No. E. No. No. Oh, right, let's press Y. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly <laughs> what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Oh, now I see where they're coming he's with eating this. lunch. Now he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. <laughs> Press K to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, <laughs> choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Press E to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would oh, never absolutely. end that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. So tell me, have you been to the broom closet of love? But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Oh, you see, let's prove him right. Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? This H to question nothing. You have a question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more yes. to convey all this to him. 
I'm or, compelled or to. Stanley. I must. Bereft Perhaps, of love. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Okay, we're going for the Minecraft ending next, just to make Creeper Zone 007 happy. And because I like Minecraft. Martins, 5237, hello. We're back here again. Let's keep on. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, let's move on. Turn these monitors off. I don't know if it does anything, but I want to find out. Plus I want to get this uh, input data screen again. Go crazy! When Stanley I went came crazy, to a set of two open back. door, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Right, sorry about running through all the this, guys. Was but let's actually move on and let's do a different. But uh, eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Right, Look, Stanley, I think down. perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Some what? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? <laughs> Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Does anyone else get completely creeped out by the idea of an old man coming up to you and saying, Hey, let me show you something beautiful. Tarantino, hello, welcome to the stream. And it's only going to get madder, I'm afraid. 2B1. Right, rather than giving uh, Creeper Zone a, a nervous breakdown, let's go through the blue door. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Uh, no! Aha! <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the no. red door. <laughs> I still don't think we're communicating properly. No. Stanley walked... All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Well, he's not going to stop us. Let's do it. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. <laughs> this already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Let's give it a try. Oh, I'm loving I'm I am loving the textures here. That's actually actually that's not bad. Hmm. Well for its age, that's not bad. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. 
I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. So what do you think, guys? Should we give him a one, two, three, four, or five? Mega Racer, hello! I think just getting home from work is an ex is a reasonable excuse. Hey guys, one, two, three, four, or five. Well, I think you guys are being a little bit harsh, but let's go for one. Go for one. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had <laughs> reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. There is just something totally wrong with somebody with an English accent saying, I knocked it out of the park. It just doesn't work. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh that's just so cruel. And look, the uh the text the uh developer textures are taking over. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Yes. Again, honest answers please. Yes. Yes or number? Yes or number? Over here where you guys are deciding... Nothing! Gosh! This reminds me of the time when I looked between my ears! Uh... Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Chris, hello. You join us as we're playing the Stanley Parable. In this game, oh the baby man, crawls baby simulator. Towards danger, you click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. <laughs> but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you <laughs> give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh, yes, this is so good. Right. Shout burn when you've had enough. Do bear in mind that this live stream stops at 10 o'clock regardless. Yep, not doing four hours guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> That is one ending you are not going to see. Yep, okay. Bad. And this is why I was a terrible fight. Bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Yes. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable.
Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game, just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This right. seems like this it is where Creeper Zone gets very shot. happy. Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. Ah, a game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes. Just about everybody who's played Minecraft complete. has made this house. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. <laughs> Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond <laughs> everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No, of course not. I haven't mined any coal yet. I love this game. This is a fantastic game, let's be honest. I'm not talking Minecraft here, I'm talking the Stanley oh, Parable. No, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. This is open-ended? Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. That zombie at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Oh, I've got to flush something. There we go. <laughs> ah, just dissolving one of the windows, it takes all the fun out of it. Oh! It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're 40. You know what, I think I'm going to have to put Portal onto the, uh, the voting list. I haven't played it Jeez. in years. I used to love it. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. <laughs> I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. Oh, I think so I'll just go about my business, making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. <laughs> I thought it won't last long. <laughs> Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. 
Right, let's end it all. Mm.